Iloilo is often called as the heart of the Philippines. This is especially true in its multifaceted collection of tourist spots and attractions. Iloilo's rich heritage is showcased in its delicious cuisine, treasured historical buildings, cultural traditions, captivating natural landscapes, and in many exciting festivals celebrated throughout the province. Here are the top 20 tourist destinations in Iloilo. Number 1. Lizares Mansion One of the prominent structures in Iloilo is the Lizares Mansion. This structure showcases a wide lawn and its striking facade can be seen easily as it is near the road. The mansion, named after Don Emiliano Lizares, was also used as a headquarters of the Japanese forces during World War II and the property was later sold to the Dominican priests in 1962. This is one of the heritage houses that still stands, bearing witness to the rich history of the province. Number 2. Haro Metropolitan Cathedral and Belfry This Baroque-style church is one of the churches that define the rich history of Iliilo. Situated along a busy district, the Haro Cathedral is also known as the site of Our Lady of Candles, who was declared as the patroness of Western Visayas during the papal visit of St. John Paul II in 1981. Its belfry is situated a meter away from the main structure of the church and is towering near the cathedral grounds. Number 3. La Paz Public Market Want to have an experience of the different flavors of Iloilo City? The La Paz Market is the place to be. Whether it be from pasalubong buying to local market experience and to eatery hopping, the La Paz Market is one of the places you might want to visit. You can find several bachoy eateries here and the also famous Maj Cafe. Number 4. Match Cafe This family-owned coffee shop is known for its locally sourced coffee and coffee products since the 1940s. Right at the heart of La Paz Market, Match Cafe is pretty hard to miss. Enjoy their cup of coffee for 50 pesos or less. Number 5. Netong's Original La Paz Bachoy Your Ililo trip will never be complete if you have not tasted their famous Netong's Original La Paz Bachoy. This original Filipino cuisine originated in the city's La Paz district, situated right in the middle of the La Paz public market. Number 6. Museo Iliilo Museo Iliilo is the first museum to be commissioned outside of Metro Manila. This museum has a number of interesting artifacts showcasing the rich culture of Western Visayas. A popular site in this museum is the Santo Entierro, a sculpture of the dead Christ. Number 7. Casa Real de Iloilo and Arroyo Fountain 
Located at the very heart of the capital city of Iloilo is the old provincial capital, also known as the Casa Real and the Arroyo Fountain. The wood and stone Casa Real was once the seat of the government of the province from 1901 to 2001 and was also once used by the Japanese forces during World War II. Meanwhile, the sculpture of the Arroyo Fountain represents the richness of the province's history and marks the kilometer zero of the province. Number 8. Calle Real Dubbed as the cultural core of Iloilo, Calle Real would definitely bring you back to the colonial past. This trips down several Spanish-style architecture and is considered to be the main artery of the city. Historic and heritage shops and structures grace the place and is a perfect place to stroll after a long day exploring Iloilo. Number 9. Caminha Balay Nga Bato Translated as Stone House, this heritage structure has more to offer than its rich history. Built in 1860, it is located near the Iloilo River to easily transport the Avancena Caminha family's textile business during that time. It is called Balay Nga Bato because its walls were built using the river sand and limestone that help reinforce the base of the house. Number 10. San Jose Lazar Church Located in Plaza Libertad, the San Jose Lazar Church is the home of the world-famous Tinagyang Festival which is celebrated every January in honor of the child Jesus. This site is also believed to be the place where the first church in Iloilo was constructed by the Jesuits in 1607. Number 11. La Salle Libertad if you are fond of the Spanish language, Libertad means liberty or freedom. Ili the city's historical square was the site where the Philippine flag was first raised in the island of Banay in 1898 when Spain surrendered Iloilo as its last capital or stronghold in the Philippines. Formerly known as the Plaza Alfonso XII, the plaza is surrounded by notable structures such as the Ili the City Hall. San Jose Church, the Masonic Temple, and the Lacson Clan Ancestral House. Number 12. Molo Church Known as a feminist church, St. Anne's Parish is known as Church of the Women, as the images of the saints inside the church are all female. This white coral structure that was built in the 1830s is also recognizable because of its two spires and concrete facade. This church was declared a national landmark by the National Historical Institution in 1992 and is one of the most visited churches in the province. Number 13. Molo Mansion Another heritage site located right across the Molo Church is the Molo Mansion. This Spanish-style architecture building is very unique but its facade is just as striking. Its simple yet elegant structure houses a museum for local art pieces from homegrown Iloilo artists and it's also a souvenir shop where you can buy your pasalubong.
Number 14. Iloilo River Esplanade If you want to have a walking trip from Molo Church and Molo Mansion, why not pay a visit at the Iloilo River Esplanade? This trip is one of the best spots to see the sunset from a distance. Walking past the Carpenter's Bridge that separate Molo from Manduriao, the Esplanade gives you a refreshing view of the Molo district right across the river. Several food stalls can also be found along the strip. Number 15. Casa Marikit One of the oldest houses in the province, Casa Marikit should never be missed in your itinerary. Be ready to travel to Memory Lane if you visit the place as antique furniture and memorabilia can be seen inside the casa. The house was built in 1803 where it became the home to Maria Marquette Haveliana and husband Fernando Lopez, who served as a vice president of the Philippines in the 1950s. Its rustic ambience, complemented with its original fixtures and ornaments, will let you feel what it is to live in the 19th century. Number 16. Miagao Church Santo Tomas de Villanueva Church, popularly known as Miagao Church, is one of the four Baroque churches in the Philippines that is included in the World Heritage Sites list of UNESCO. Its notable coralline limestone facade, particularly that of San Cristobal carrying the child Jesus with a native touch, is what makes the church an attraction on its own. Number 17. Garin Farm Pilgrimage Resort Aside from its primary use as a farm, Garin Farm also hosts leisure activities and accommodations for a fee. The pilgrimage is the farm's most popular attraction, depicting various biblical events while climbing a hill. The huge cross atop the hill will greet you, and its meditation tunnel will lead you to a heavenly place where angels and saints welcome visitors to heaven. Yup, literally, heaven on earth. Number 18. Campo Santo San Joaquin Cemetery This national cultural treasure has an imposing Baroque-style Campo Santo or Mortuary Chapel. The chapel is surprisingly made out of white corals and fossil stones common in churches and structures near the shores, especially in the Visayas. This site is one of the oldest cemeteries in Panay Island, on accounts that it was founded in the 1890s. Number 19. Nasadhan Falls Found in the municipality of Igbaras, Nasadhan Falls is one of the natural tourist spots in the province that I suggest you come visit. With a height of at least 100 feet, going down a natural swimming pool. Number 20. Islad Gigantes. All the way up to the province's northernmost municipality, this group of islands is one of the most popular spots in Iloilo. Do not forget to have a picture in the famous Kabugo Gamay Island and the Tanque Saltwater Lagoon. 